Braves, the Atlanta Braves, and the New York Mets. Escobar leads off in the third with the Mets down one. Nine. When I first saw these plots come through, I thought that this must be a Braves ejection because the umpire balled multiple pitches that were expected strikes, albeit within buffer zone. But as it turns out, I was wrong. Hitters make. Then I thought, if New York has the ejection, surely it's because the pitcher for Atlanta resets his pivot foot, but that only happened in wind-up position with no runners on base compared to set position with runners in which his footwork doesn't have that sliding or reset issue. What's going on? And oh, and somebody somebody's got thrown. thrown out of the Mets dugout. Oh, wow. As Rayburn points to who was ejected and the bench looks bemused, I thought maybe it's a Scherzer rule issue. Did the pitcher come set too quickly? No. Hmm. Why would they be woofing at him in the first place? Especially when on the pitch to Nimmo, when Nimmo hears it from the dugout too, he puts that thumbs up like, guys, the pitch was good. Well, that sure didn't prevent anything. I thought it was, was it Eric Chavez, the bench coach? Or see the hitting coach. I think if it was Buck, he probably would have been a little bit more demonstrative. Yeah, now he's the bench coach. As amusing as the who is this guy game is, it's kind of apropos and emblematic of the tolerance hierarchy. Assistant coaches such as a bench or hitting coach receive a lot shorter leash than either a manager or a player, especially complaining from the dugout. That's what your manager is for. And as for the manager, Buck, well... Buck isn't getting tossed. My guess is he'd been chirping maybe for a little bit, and he had just finally had enough. Well, I rem when Beatty struck out to end the second hey. looking, and the Mets dugout was pretty vocal because they thought that pitch was a little inside. Thanks for solving the mystery, Braves. As for why a bench coach would wait an inning and then get tossed on a strike his own batter is telling him not to argue? Eh. As always, hat tip to the organist, Matt Kaminsky played Big Girls Don't Cry for the ejection. No relation to Gene Rayburn. Doesn't have a long microphone or anything.